What's up my lions? Welcome back. Friday is finally here and today I'm going to talk to you guys about price. Uh, why is it important to know how to price your product? Uh, but also what does it mean uh, when you price it a certain way? When you're doing product research, what kind of prices to look for? All these kind of good stuff we're going to talk about. So let's start with the first thing which is our product research because that's what this is all about and uh, we want to start with that. Everything starts with product research. So when you are running Jungle Scout in, against Amazon and you are trying to figure out what kind of products to look for at what price ranges, you're going to do a general search. You're going to go to Amazon, so let's say you're looking for cell phone cases, right? So you're going to see what price range that product is selling at. And if your product is not selling within the ranges of $20 to $30 at least, do not get into it. If it's below $20, unless your manufacturing costs are dirt cheap, and I'm talking about like 10 cents a unit or the stuff like that, then yes, by all means get into it. But if it's not, please do not get into it because there are a lot of other fees that you have to account for when you're pricing your product in to have a healthy profit margin so you can make money, right? So that's it, guys. So when you're running Jungle Scout, and by the way, I have a 20% off for you guys description uh, is below actually the link is below and uh, there's a $20 off on the monthly subscriptions and I've managed to get that for you guys uh, so you guys can save some money especially when you guys are starting out and funds are a bit limited so um, back to the video now so when you're searching for products you want to make sure that the average pricing the top part of Chrome extension when you run Jungle Scout Chrome extension against that uh, Amazon FBA page or, or Amazon seller uh, buyers page. Um, make sure that the product is averaging at least $20 and check out your first top 10 comp competitors, right? Because the average pricing is, uh, is accounting for like maybe whatever, let's say there are 100 sellers there, right? So what you want to do is to keep in mind how many sellers there are. The top 10 are the most important because that's where you, they will be on the first page and that's where you want to get into. So you're going to go check out their prices to see how competitive it is. First of all, like we talked about reviews, you got to make sure that the reviews are low. Second, we talked about that the revenue or the monthly sales revenue has to be at least $5,000. And once you've had two check marks right there, you have to now make sure that the price is at least $20, right? So if cell phone case or cell phone sleeve, whatever you call it, is not $20, which uh, I don't think it's a $20 item, I'm just using that as an example, um, then move on from that product and find something else, find another category. And when you're searching, make sure you keep it broad, right? So if you want to work with, let's say, shelves, right? Um, don't just type in shelf or a, uh, sorry, or a... Um, uh, what do you call or or you want a wall shelf or a wall organizer or whatever what have you don't just type in wall organizer type in organizer you want to keep it as broad as possible so that your product research can return different asp or different markets that could potentially be a benef benefit to you you don't want to just zoom in on one market and check it out and move on you want to have access to the full range of market and pick and choose which one you think is going to be profitable for you so price, let's get back into it. So when you're checking for price, again, $20 and up is uh, amazing. That would be great. I don't like to go over $40 just because Amazon is a marketplace that people look for deals and that's the price, average price that they buy things, right? So anything more expensive, they could buy at the store and prices are very comparable. Um, that's why I don't sell electronics because they are higher valued items. Um, I try to sell products that are um, that are non-electronics, but they're durable and all that, and it's profitable. So that's why price is important when you're doing your first product research to make sure it's an item that you can sell for at least twenty dollars. Okay. Next thing, you want to keep an eye on your competitors. Now, go through your top ten and figure out what they're selling uh, their uh, products for, and a lot of those will be in Jungle Scout they will show you what price ranges they're selling and check out your top competitors who you're competing with and guys the one thing that a lot of people make mistake i had uh, some sellers 
that were selling overseas and if you know anything about numbers in, uh, in the East it's that certain numbers are looked down upon and they don't respond to it so you gotta know your market guys you gotta know which market you're selling I know that in the North American market 99 and 95 cents or like let's say 24.99 or 24.95 these prices are very attractive and it plays with the buyer psyche so price perception is a real thing guys and a lot of people may not tell you that so what happens is when people um, think of a product right and it's priced really low it gives them the impression that the product is of low quality right so you gotta stay within a certain range of your market you gotta know your market you cannot see that people are selling it at $29.99 and then you're like okay I'm gonna sell it for $19.99 right you don't wanna bastardize the market either and you don't wanna make uh, you don't wanna make it look like that your product is of lower quality because it's a red flag to them when they see like 10 sellers are selling it at uh, $29.99 between $27 and $29.99 and then one guy comes in with $19.99 all of a sudden it's a red flag they're like okay no I don't trust that guy because it's if everybody people follow the masses you gotta, you gotta understand that people follow the masses they don't follow that single odd one out so they're gonna think your product is of shit quality so you don't want to give them that impression on the other side of the spectrum you do not want to price it so high to make them think that it's high quality that it's so out of people's range and markets range that they won't even buy it they'll say okay you're just trying to do a money grab so if a product again is selling for 27 to 29 dollars don't price it at 39 dollars that just doesn't make sense right people have a lot more options to buy especially when you're a new seller and you don't have any reviews and you don't have a sales velocity they're not gonna get into your product right so Play it smart. If their 27 is the lowest price, I like to go a little bit lower. So I'm not gonna go 20. Uh, I'm not gonna go like uh, if it's 27.95. I'm not gonna go 27.10 or whatever. I go 26.95. I do a little bit lower. I I want to throw that six number in there so that they think. But it's really close to 27. It's really 27 if you think about it, right? But it gives them that price perception that this one is actually a good price. Okay. Okay, the other reason we want to look at prices that are $20 and higher is because we want to make sure we make a healthy profit, right? It goes hand in hand with your sales and your monthly sales revenue. So if your product is selling at, um, uh, at $15 and you mix only $750 of that, which is 50% in profit, and you don't account for your PPC campaigns and such, and your softwares and all, then you've really eaten through your profit, right? So that's why we always make sure we price it at a, first know your F, FBA fees. So first know your manufacturing cost. How much does it cost to manufacture this product per item, right? The lower number, the better, and make sure the quality is good. Then you gotta know how much your shipping is. So you gotta, uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys more about shipping at a later video, but you gotta know if you're gonna do air or ocean because that cost will also account into how much of your profit it'll lead. Because if you're doing air shipments and it's a heavy product, you're gonna pay a lot more. Therefore, plan ahead and do ocean shipment. Even though it takes longer, but at this, you will save a lot of money and your product will get here on time. So that's important. Then you're gonna think about your FBA fees. So once your product arrives um, at an Amazon FBA warehouse, and when you make a sale, there is Amazon FBA fees associated with that, which means that the Amazon employees will actually pick, pack, and store in your inventory. That's another cost of it that's rolled into that. Pick, pack, and uh, uh, ship your product, right? So all this stuff costs money. And that's why it eats up through 50% of your selling price. That's why the cost is there. So, and once the product gets there, you also have to account for some returns because returns that are, are at your own cost, right? It's not at Amazon's cost. So you have to account for those things to make sure when you are making profit, you make a healthy profit. So all those things, even though they take 50%, so 50% of $20 is $10, but 50% of $30 is $15, right? So all of a sudden you've increased it by $5. So that's why we get into products that are reasonably priced at that range, but the manufacturing costs are low and we try to do different things 
with shipping and there are videos that I've done on that so please check it out and I'll post some links for you guys um, to really bring the product at a great price so that you don't eat through your entire profit margin. Thanks again guys, that's it. I hope you guys learned something valuable today and um, the fourth thing we're going to talk about, yes, product listing. We're going to talk about your listing and how to do it properly and what things to consider. So that video is going to be up on Monday. All right. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell button, drop a comment and like this video. I really appreciate your support, guys. Have a good one.